So this is the Smooth Q2, uh, new portable gimbal by Zhihun. Uh, first thoughts of it initially is uh, it's super small. Uh, build quality is excellent. It's uh, I think it's aluminum. It's all metal and it's got this rubberized grip, so it feel it feels really good in your hand. Um, it comes uh, all the weight is in the handle because that's where the battery is, and it's, so when you have your phone on there, it's balanced really well. Uh, the, the battery is removable um, and it has uh, a 17 hour life. Um, what's nice about it being removable is if uh, your battery starts dying and doesn't hold a charge, uh, you could just get a new one. Um, down in the bay, the, there's a, 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 a provision for a tripod, but it does stand on itself so you can get those time lapses and stuff like that. Uh, which is really nice. You don't have to carry an extra tripod. Um, the phone attaches uh, through this clip, um, which is uh, nice uh, because what you can do is once you get the phone balanced, if you need to use the phone, all you got to do is remove it from its holder and then you can use the phone, uh, put it back, and then you don't have to rebalance again and it's, it's ready to shoot. Um, in this position, um, it's in standby mode, and uh, so all you got to do is, um, since the phone connects to the gimbal via Bluetooth, all you got to do is flip it up and it's ready to shoot. So, um, and then you just put it back down. It, it locks into place so uh, this arm doesn't go flying all over the place when you have it in your pocket or uh, when you're moving around with it, which is really nice. So with this gimbal, you really have three buttons, power, a record button, and a joystick um, button that also changes uh, your modes. So uh, you single press to go from each mode, and if you want to go back to mode instead of having to go all the way around, you double press and it goes back to the previous shooting mode. So the first one is... Uh, it's called pan follow um, and it locks the tilt in position and then you so you just it, it pans with the rotation of the gimbal the next one is a full lock mode uh, so it locks uh, the gimbal in place you can move to frame your composition um, so these work good with like moving time lapses when you're moving closer to an object and you uh, keep it in uh, uh, in frame. Uh, the next one is a follow mode. So you, you now have tilt and pan. Uh, after that is a uh, POV mode. So now you have tilt. So it'll tilt with you now so you can get those crazy angles like those and then uh, again pan uh, this is pan and this is tilt um, the last mode is called POV so uh, this is the mode where you can it swings the arm down so you can get those vortex shots where or barrel roll shots that you can kind of do so that's kind of cool um, so, uh, one of the issues uh, that I noticed is uh, with the wide angle and some of your, the, the new uh, 11 Pro has that ultra wide angle, is that this arm would get in the way of certain shots. Um, with the new firmware update, if you triple press the record button, uh, the arm would swing down. Uh, and it would clear the arm from your shots. When you triple press the power button, uh, now you're in selfie mode, uh, so you can use your better cameras uh, to take selfies or uh, if you're a vlogger. Uh, you could just walk and talk with this thing. It stabilizes it for you. So um, that's a, another cool feature. And then triple press to get back. And then there you go. 
Now if you invert the handle, it goes to underslung mode. So you can get those nice low angle shots. Um, and then in follow mode, you have the tilt with it. So you can get full control of it. Uh, in POV, you can get, you can start tilting from underneath as well. So these are uh, lenses by a company called Moment. Uh, I've got a wide angle lens and a anamorphic lens. Uh, and they just, uh, w with the case that Moment sells, they just twist on. And then you have a better uh, a camera lens uh, for your iPhone. Um, so my big concern was uh, the weight of the the lens. Um, typically on another gimbals, you'd have to uh, count, uh, to use a counterweight to uh, balance the gimbal because all the weight so uh, far to the outside. Uh, but this one works perfectly well uh, the motors are strong enough uh, to function um, it works in um, all the shooting lenses uh, modes sorry um, initially the arm got in the way but with um, the new firmware update um, with the if you triple press it puts it down to this flashlight mode so um, the arm is held out of the out of the, the the view of what you're recording so it hasn't been an issue um, the motors are uh, strong enough to hold the lens without the counterbalance which is just a surprise um, that way you don't have to carry around the, the, the extra counterbalance um, when you're shooting. Yeah, my big concern was not being able to use the lens um, with this gimbal since I already had them. Um, I wanted to keep shooting with them and so it's nice to to know that it will work and they are compatible with the lenses. Uh, the anamorphic one worked really well. The wide seemed a little heavier um, and the motors um, uh, was able to work, but it didn't work as good as the the lighter anamorphic. I think um, it still um, does everything you need, um, and the motors are, for the most part, hold up to it. I did find that um, when it wasn't balanced perfectly, and I would tilt it down, the motors would kind of shudder a little bit. But once I rebalanced it um, it works fine so uh, it's a it's a it's it, it works uh, it's compatible with the moment lenses um, I'm getting a thinner case so it fits better into its little slot um, I know some people said it popped off but um, I didn't find an issue with it uh, I've been shooting with it and um, it, it's been great so far so um, for those that have these lenses and want to know if it's compatible, I found that it worked really well um, and you didn't need to buy or use the extra counterbalance, uh, which is nice. Overall, it's it's a great portable gimbal. Uh, it has a lot of the features of a, uh, of a full-size gimbal. Um, it does everything that I need it to do. And on top of that, it's portable. You got long life uh, out of the battery. Um, and it's Bluetooth connected, so you can get to shooting very quickly. You just flip the arm up and you're ready to shoot. Um, it, it's also nice uh, having this clip. Um, if you need to access your phone, you could just undo the clip, pull the phone out, and then put it back, and then you don't have to worry about rebalancing it. Um, again, the build quality is excellent uh, with all their products. Um, it's not plastic like some other gimbals, and um, it's a very competitive price uh, for the, the quality of uh, build. Um, so yeah, I've been having a blast with this thing, um, and really recommend um, you guys getting one.